Right, so I'm going to show you how to do some increases. So I've just put some masking tape on. So this is my current working needles and this masking tape shows the edge of the piece. So I'm just going to show you how we're going to extend beyond this piece. And actually, it's really, really easy. So I'm just going to knit as normal. And then when I meet the masking tape, usually you just go down to beyond that pin and turn around. But I want to increase one crease, one stitch, so I'm going to go to beyond this pin. There we go. So the yarn just went underneath there. And I'm going to turn back around. And it's as simple as that. We've increased one stitch on that side. So if we... And then it's going to be the same on this side. So that's my current swatch knitted. And I'm going to go to the next pin. So there we go. So the yarn's dropped underneath there. And then just back the way we came. And you can see that this was my original. Might need to help the stitches just on the first round. There we go. So that was an extra stitch. I'm going to do another increase. Again, just needs to help that stitch down a little bit. And that's it complete. I'm going to do one more. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do three on each side. So there was where we originally started and then we've got one, two, three needles. So I'm just going to stitch a few rows and then we can take a look at what this looks like. So there we have our three increases on either side. Okay, so we did the increases. So these were the original starting points and now we are three stitches beyond that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do decreases to get us back down to the original side. And I'm going to show you two different techniques. So the first technique I'm going to show you um, is to create a finished edge. So we're going to knit all the way to here and stop just before we knit that stitch. Okay, so we've stopped here. This is raised going to grab my loom pick what we're going to do is we're going to lift this stitch off okay so that stitch is now on my loom pick what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop it on the needle next to it so this needle hasn't been knit either as you can see we're still just over the top here this can be quite fiddly so we'll just take your time try not to break anything Sometimes it might just be easier to do with your fingers. Okay. Right, so now that we've got two strands at the bottom here. So there we go. And that's one underneath there. So we finished that stitch. And then we just knit as normal. So let's go to the other side and show you another technique. So on this side, we're going to do pretty much something very similar, but we're going to leave live stitches so that if we did want to do any joining, we could use this technique. So I'm just not going to knit this last stitch. So we're just going to go to underneath this pin and then turn back the way we came. So there you go. See, the yarn has just went underneath this pin. I don't want to knit this stitch, so I'm going to turn back see the yarn is wrapping around this pin here and we're going to knit this needle and this needle hasn't been knit there we go and we can see this is now a live stitch so what we want to do so we want to grab a darning needle with some waste yarn and we're just going to pick up that stitch and then I just let it hang because I'm going to do more than one decrease on this side. So if I just let it dangle there, it'll be ready when we do the next decrease. So let's go back to the other decrease technique. So 
way back. So same thing, I'm just going to raise this needle, pretty much get the guide aligned with this pin. There we go. Lift this stitch off. I have to backtrack just a little bit. Go and pop it on this needle, see if we have better luck this time. There we go. And again, I'm just pushing that all the way down to make sure that it knits both of these strands. So, and then we knit that stitch. So both of those have been knit into one. So back to this technique. So again, I'm just not going to knit this stitch. I'm going to pretend it's not there. Just knit to this pin and wrap the yarn around. And then pick up my darn needle and lift it off. There you go. You can see we've got two, two stitches on this yarn here. Again, go just lined up, lift the stitch off. And pop it onto this pin. Go. Make sure both of those are going to be knit. And then you can see we've made it back to our pin with the tape on. And one more on this side, so I'm just going to round the pin with the tape on, go wrapped around and knit and then we lift that stitch off and then we have three decreased stitches that are live. Okay so I'm just going to knit a few rows so then you can get a better look at the final swatch. We have our two decreases so this is the side which is a nice finished edge and this is a side that has live stitches so if you did want to add some ribbing to a cardigan neckline or something like that you can use that. Okay so there we go there's our weird creation for today so I hope you found this video enjoyable. Thanks for watching.